When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Well, guess who's not winning right now? This gal. She is an embarrassment to the state of Georgia. Crazy, Looney Tune, unhinged, moron. Osama bin Karen, a dipstick, a dingbad. The Republican Party has definitely become a Game of Thrones style race to the bottom in a quest to see which loathsome figure can grab power. And this week, apparently the whole MAGA crew, including Donald Trump, has finally had it with Marjorie Taylor Greene. It's like that scene in Scary Movie where one person is so annoying that everybody turns on her. Scary <laughs> Excuse me, you sit down? Oh, shut up! Oh, you is grass. That knifing is what is happening to MTG right now. Let's back up. You probably remember that six months ago, the Freedom Caucus, the most MAGA maga -erst ever MAGA down the pike, turned on Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. This included some of the brightest bulbs in the party. Those of us who will not be voting for Kevin McCarthy today take no joy in this. I have been working every day to unify the Republican Party for the American people. And yesterday, Kevin McCarthy eagerly dismissed us. Trump could have saved McCarthy, but he didn't. So that's how we know it was Trump and the Freedom Caucus versus McCarthy. Guess who sided with McCarthy? This gal. There are eight Republicans who joined the Democrats and now said Kevin McCarthy, they need to apologize and we need to heal our conference in order to move forward. So then Republicans elected current speaker Mike Johnson, seen here relaxing in his spare time. And, what time you play? and all seemed calm in Westeros, I mean MAGA land, until, you know, Republicans had to actually start trying to do stuff like passing bills funding the government, protecting our allies against Vladimir Putin, the world's number one dictator, and his vicious war of aggression. So when Mike Johnson agreed to fund the government and actually started talking about doing a deal, not even to give Ukraine aid, just to loan Ukraine money, Marjorie Taylor Greene threatened to try to get rid of Mike Johnson and then went on Tucker Carlson's show and went on the attack, including saying some pretty weird stuff. Mike Johnson has, has made a complete departure of who he is. Um, and what he stands for, and to the point where people are literally asking, is he blackmailed? What is wrong with him? Do you think he is being blackmailed? I have no idea. We know that Donald Trump is in favor of anything Vladimir Putin says, like Eddie Murphy's fiance in Coming to America. What do you like to do? Whatever you like. What kind of music do you like? Whatever kind of music you like. Bark like a dog. Arf! So he's against Mike Johnson on this, but he's also had it up to here with Marjorie Taylor Greene. Politico reports that inside Trump world, they're calling Marjorie Taylor Greene a 100% distraction, unwanted, and just stupid. One of his insiders said, we're not going to get trapped into this cycle of bullshit that comes out of members of the House like her. So now Trump is pissed at MTG. And what about her other MAGA buddies? Well, she was already booted out of the Freedom Caucus. Members of the Freedom Caucus took a vote to oust the controversial Georgia Republican, reportedly due to her close relationship with Speaker Kevin McCarthy, as well as her profanity-laced clash on the House floor with her Colorado colleague, Lauren Boebert. And now, meet Ken Buck. To be sure, Ken has been on many sides. He's like Tyrion Lannister. He's a member of the Freedom Caucus and was one of 126 House Republicans who signed a brief to the Supreme Court contesting the 2020 election. But then he flipped and was one of only seven House Republicans who did not try to contest the results on January 6th. In fact, when Republicans went through their initial Hunger Games session trying to elect a speaker, he refused to vote for Jim Jordan because Jordan wouldn't accept the 2020 results. He then flipped and supported Mike Johnson, despite Mike Johnson being the architect of opposition to the election in the House. But the point is, he is a bona fide right winger, and turns out he's had it with Marge as well. He went on CNN this week to absolutely crush her. Marjorie is on the wrong side of history. We know that Russia is propagating these false uh, statements, uh, narratives about what's going on in Ukraine. We know that she is getting her talking points from Russia. And we know that they're false. Marjorie is uh, continuing down this false path. Um, I don't think many Republicans are going to support her. Moscow Marjorie is focused now on this Ukraine issue and getting her talking points from the Kremlin. So just to recap, 
House Speaker Mike Johnson is at war with Marjorie Taylor Greene. The Freedom Caucus now hates Marjorie Taylor Greene. Ken Buck just basically called her a traitor to America. Moscow Marjorie. And Donald Trump? Well, his inner circle is leaking quotes calling her stupid. And as much as Politico says that Trump is very close with Greene, is he? We know how Green feels very close to Trump. Swap. Diane always has him in the <laughs> But look at this footage of him landing in her state last year and just ghosting her as she pathetically tries to get some of his attention. For a long time, Marjorie Taylor Greene has been a useful idiot for MAGA world, being a gadfly and a provocateur and drawing some of the negative attention that might have otherwise gone to Trump. But it seems like they've all decided that she's no longer useful. So that means she has no allies left and she's just one thing.